Welcome to Learn Arabic with Menar. Today we will see how to take the name of any country and turn it into a nationality. At the end we will see how to use the nationalities in everyday examples. Yalla, let's start. Let's start with what's the word for nationality in Arabic. It is jinsiye. Jinsiye. And by the way, it is feminine because it takes ta marbuta in the end. Jinsiye. So to turn this into a question, what is your nationality? You will take the question word shu and after you will add after it your nationality in Arabic. And it is jinsi tak. To a man, jinsitek. To a woman, jinsitkon. To a group of people, shu jinsitak. To a man, shu jinsitek. To a woman, shu jinsitkon. To a group of people. To turn the name of any country to a nationality, we have to take care of some details in the name. But we will see this in details in few minutes. Before that, let's see what suffix we are using. To form the nationality, we are adding the suffix ya to form the masculine. We are adding the suffix ya and ta marbuta to form the feminine, and we are adding ya and nun to form the plural. In the Levantine dialect, we are using only the masculine form for plural, even if it's masculine or feminine. So it will be, for example, if we are talking about Egypt, Masr, to say someone that he is Egyptian, we will say Huwe Masri. She is Egyptian. Hiye Masriye. They are Egyptian. Hinne Masriyin. So what do you need to notice in the name of the country before turning it into a nationality? First thing, if the name of the country has Al, the article at the beginning, we take out the Al. And after this, we will add the suffix for the nationality. Let's see examples like Al-Iraq. We take Al and it's, it is Iraq. We adding the suffix and it will be Iraqi for a man, Iraqi for a woman, Iraqi for a group of people. Another example, it is like Al Yaman. We take out Al and we add the suffix, and it will be Yamani for a man, Yamani for a woman, Yamani for a group of people, Yamani for a man, Yamani for a woman, Yamani for a group of people. The second thing that you have to notice that if the name of the country ends with Alif at the end, in this case, you have to take the alif out and after you will add the suffix of the nationality, like Belgica, Belgium, and after you it will be Belgiki to a man, Belgiki to a woman, Belgiki to a group of people. There is an exception, the name of the country Austria. In Arabic, it is and Nemsa. In this case, we then we take out the Al article at the beginning, but we don't take out the Aleph at the end, but we add Wow and Ya, and it will be Nemsawi to a man, Nemsawi to a woman, Nemsawi to a group of people. The third thing, if the name ends with Ya and Alif, we take out the Alif and we don't double the Ya at the end, we don't add the Ya of the nationality. For example, Surya, Syria, we take out the Alif and we keep the name Suri for a man, Suriye for a woman, Suriyin for a group of people. Another example, Italia, Italy, we take out the Aleph and we just keep the Ya, Itali to a man, Italie to a woman, Italie to a group of people. 
The fourth rule, if the name of the country ends with ta marbuta, we take out ta marbuta. Like Singapore, Singapore, it will be Singapore to a man, Singapore to a woman, Singapore to a group of people. Also, we have a Saudi. Here we have al at the beginning and we have ta marbuta at the end. And the name when we take out the ta marbuta ends with ya. So we have to notice all this. And it will be Saudi to a man, Saudi to a woman, Saudi to a group of people. So let's see the four rules that we have one by one. First thing that we have to look at the name of the country. If it has al, we take out al. If it ends with alef, we take out alef. If it ends with ta marbuta, we take out ta marbuta. If the name ends with ya, in this case we don't double the ya and we just add ta marbuta to the feminine and nun to the plural. So now let's see the nationalities in everyday examples. For example, I saw the Moroccan girl. Shifit el bint el maghribiye. Shifit I saw by adding the suffix ta and forming the subject I. El bint the girl. El maghribiye the Moroccan. Shifit el bint el maghribiye. Shifit el bint el maghribiye. I saw the Moroccan girl. I met an Italian guy. تعرفت على شاب إيطالي. I met تعرفت على. The تعرفت, it is I met by adding the suffix ت. We are forming I. على here, it is the preposition on. But here, it doesn't have the meaning of the preposition on. It is like a set phrase with the verb تعرفت and it always the verb تعرفت it always come with the preposition على تعرفت على it means I met شاب a guy إيطالي Italian تعرفت على شاب إيطالي I met an Italian guy where is the Arabic neighborhood وين الحي العربي وين it is where الحي the neighborhood Il Arabi the Arabic. When Il Hay Il Arabi, where is the Arabic neighborhood? We ate in a Lebanese restaurant. Akelna bimatam Libnani. Akelna we ate. The suffix na here, the uh, subject we. Bimatam b it is in. Matam restaurant. In a restaurant. Libnani Lebanese. أكلنا بمطعم لبناني. We ate in a Lebanese restaurant. She speaks the Syrian dialect. بتحكي اللهجة السورية. بتحكي she speaks. اللهجة the dialect. السورية the Syrian. بتحكي اللهجة السورية. She speaks the Syrian dialect. I like Mexican food. بحب الأكل المكسيكي بحب I like الأكل the food المكسيكي the Mexican بحب الأكل المكسيكي I like Mexican food I need to add a note here as you noticed in البنت المغربية الحي العربي اللهجة السورية الأكل المكسيكي we added again the L to the nationality. Why? Because we are using here as an adjective to the noun. So when we are using the nationality as an adjective, we add back the L if it's needed. I talked about L and when to, uh, to use it in Arabic in this video, you could check it for more details. If you have any questions about how to say your nationality, leave me a comment and I will answer you. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friend. See you next week. Yalla bye!